Yes, yes, sir. Praise the Red Birds. Welcome back to the canon where we're going to dive into some Batman vs. Superman action. Sal, this is Batman vs. Superman week. Uh, we're ready to do our expectations. Let's start off. When are you going to see the movie? I'm going to see the movie this Thursday at 10 o'clock at Yorktown AMC. So <laughs> if you're there, come find me. And I'm not going to give you that much information, but I will be seeing it on Thursday, also 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock? 6 o'clock. Oh, yeah, they did have them that early. Couldn't make it. Haha. -ha. Um, also, I just think it's weird that they now have these movies come out, like... Almost like, 24 hours. Remember, it used to be a midnight showing. Yeah. It was like, man. Well, it's like Thanksgiving or, or Black Friday. Oh, yeah. It just kept getting early. It, it was Black Friday. It was actually Friday at like 5 a.m. And then it was Thursday <laughs> at midnight. And then it was Thursday at 10 and then 8. Yeah. And now it's like, you know, in October. Yeah. And it's like, okay. Well. <laughs> so, yeah. No, that's weird. Yeah. But, but yeah, because I'm like, I went to a few midnight showings in my time. But now I go to Batman vs. Superman, get my tickets. Yeah. And it's like, oh, you can come see it on Thursday at 12 o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> like, yeah. well, then it's not really <laughs> premiering on Friday. But anyway, so we're going to see it Thursday. I actually have a second ticket for Friday morning. Yeah, I think <laughs> so, I'm going to go Saturday. So. so, yeah, I didn't space mine out too well, but that's fine. Um, I think I saw enough of it to where I'm like, okay, I feel comfortable saying I'm going to want to see this twice. So. Yeah. Uh, which is more than I can say for Star Wars. I had to go see that first before I could buy into a second ticket. But anyway, um, so right into the expectations. Um, what are you expecting leading up? You know, it's kind of like prom night or something. When you get to the yeah. theater, like, <laughs> what are you going to expect to see? Bring in protection, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I don't know. It's It's been how many years? Two years? Almost three years in the three years. They it was they like uh, ten years. They announced it at 2013 Comic Con, so almost coming up on three years and then a year delay. So, I, you know, it's just really surreal that it's finally uh, finally here, and it's 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 just crazy how far they've come. So, and how far we've come as fans. It's you know I think this the you know this and along with Marvel has prompted this show a little you know. So we just want to get out there and talk about it. So I mean. It's finally happening. So I'm just, you know, excited. I think, uh, you know, the crowd there is going to be, you know, like I envision already that I'm going to stand up and applaud this movie when it ends. <laughs> you know, that's why I'm, if it's that good, I'm going to do that. Like, I don't care. I've been waiting <laughs> three years for this. So, right. you know, I think everyone's just kind of the same way. So, what, I don't know. What about you, man? I, I don't know. I mean, uh... Every time these type of movies come, I always think the most grandiose type scene, and it's never that. Um, but uh, I think they'll be, it'll be different seeing it Thursday. I don't think I really saw a movie the day before the actual premiere. Okay. But I, I still feel like, you know, I'm gonna see a line. <laughs> I'm gonna see oh, people. Are your tickets reserved or your seats? No. Okay, that's another story. Oh, so, <laughs> but I think there's going to be a line to get in the door. I think people are going to be all dressed up. And, you know, I'm not the cosplay type, but I'll be repping my team. You'll see in the review who I rep. Uh -oh, but right. um, I'll be repping my team. And um, But I think some people probably go costume it out a little bit. Uh, yeah, but the, the buzz, I think I'm going to feel what I felt with Star Wars. You know, it's just... Because this is generational, even though the uh, DCU isn't, these characters are. Yeah. They've expanded over everybody's generation, so everyone knows Superman, everyone knows Batman. I'm expecting it to just be a little nuts, man. Like, I, I hope I applaud it at the end, but I might just applaud it as it starts, you know? I know, oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> that too. Yeah. Like, as all the trailers, I'm like, okay, fine. Like, and it starts. I'm being the moment where I just like, I think in one of those life flash before your eyes type <laughs> things where it's like, I remember where I was to this day when they announced Batman vs Superman. I was with my younger brother and uh, we, we had just, it was like right after Man of Steel came out and we were talking about the possibilities of where they can go and then we heard this and we was like, wow. Yeah. And now to see where, like you said, where we are now, it feels like a lifetime ago. And so to see the fruition 
I think like I literally might just stand up and just start clapping <laughs> once I see the Warner Brothers DC logo uh, freak out. <laughs> you got me feeling some kind of way. Um, <laughs> so what are you feeling about the movie? What do you expect to get out of this movie? Ben Affleck, man, that's been my number one since the day he has been announced. I am, if he lives up to the expectations, I know he will. I am gonna repost what I posted on uh, whenever he was announced. I, I remember I posted, I was like, sweet baby Jesus, this is amazing <laughs> casting. So um, for him, you know, I've heard, we've heard so many things just about the way he portrayed this Batman character and this Bruce Wayne character too, even more importantly. But um, yeah, so you know, I, I'm hoping he gets his uh, gets his uh, you know applauds in from the fans, really, because you, you know he's gone through three years or two years or whatever of just bashing, bashing. just yes. bashing, man. Best word for that. And you know he knew he was gonna get it, the, you know, before he even got announced. So you know, hats off to him for taking this. Um, and even going forward, it's a lot of work. But, you know, just everyone involved, you know, I don't want to overlook uh, Henry either. I don't want to look up Gal, Snyder, uh, Eisenberg. I don't want to look over any of them because, you know, none of this would have been the movie it, it's going to be without them, no matter if we like it or not. If Whatever we get is what we get. And if we like it, and you know, uh, hats off to all of them. So, but the movie, I, you know, I'm confident, you know, I don't, I don't want to go in too much into like, the plot right now just because I'm just trying to take it all in as, as a whole um, but yeah so yeah I have high expectations for this I'm not even thinking of if it's bad you know I'm probably gonna, I'm not gonna deny for the first two weeks if it's bad <laughs> deny 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 yeah I yeah I feel you on that um, I'm I'm just kind of looking expecting a good movie like overall a really good movie I think the um, the kind of short clips they released mm -hmm. uh, recently, but kind of strung them together. So it's about five or so minutes of clips, but you know, they're not the same clips. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I remember you text me like, yeah, they got these clips and he was like, I'm not watching it. And I, I was at a point where I'm just like, I'm so sick of all this stuff. It was a lot. And so was lot. I was like, no, I'm not watching it either. But some got, once I realized they were different scenes, I was like, okay, I'll look at it. And it got me so much hype. Like, it made me realize, like, yes, there's this huge thing going on. But at the center of it, we're going to get, like, some Oscar-winning caliber writing, acting. Like, yeah. everything is, like, everybody is invested in this. It's really good acting. It's not 300 so much where it's just, like, let's throw all this action at you and the acting can yeah. kind of suffer. The story and yeah. character development. And it's, like... They're really into their character, so I'm expecting just a great movie. And I'm like you said, everybody. I'm not going to single anyone out and just absorb it. But I think in the back of my mind, I will be thinking like, is this setting up the Justice League correctly? Like they'll be secondary, but I think that will be in the back of my mind. Yeah, that usually takes me like the second time I'll watch it is when I'm gonna really critique it. I think I'll have a good idea afterwards, but again, I'm just gonna be taking it in for what it is. Um, so I think it's gonna take me a second time to actually get that review kind of mindset. Yeah. So lastly, I, I would like to, before we get into the hype mode, take yourself back to when they announced it was delayed for a year. Oh. <laughs> tell, tell the people about that. So there's a meme. <laughs> I don't know if I told, I think I told you about it, but there's a meme and I cannot find it for the life of me. I think I found it once and then I still couldn't find it. Um, of Zod from Man of Steel, where he's talking about how Superman destroyed the Genesis chamber. And so he's saying, that's all I had. All I had was Krypton. All I had was these people. And he said, uh, I think it was like, my soul, that's what you have taken from me. And there was this meme and it, it just half of it was like Batman versus Superman delayed. 2016 and that quote from Zod. I was just like, I just sat there. I literally sat there and I texted my friend Mark because he, him and me were probably the biggest comic book fans back then that I knew of. And uh, I was just like, holy crap, man. Are you kidding me? That's a whole, that was a whole year. Yeah. And that was, it was a whole, from that point, it was like a year and a half or almost two years. Yeah. Because we were a year out from the expected date, which was like May 2015, I think. Um, 
But you know, you know, looking back on it, setting, you know, them setting up this whole, uh, uh, this whole world, I think it's for the better. Um, because, you know, we would have had a, a Man of Steel situation where we would have had three years in between movies almost. No, two years. No, it would have been, what's 2015? Oh yeah, we have, well, either way. You know, everything's coming together. Um, so looking back on it, I'm glad they kind of delayed it, but man, was it tough. What about you? Yeah, I'll never say I'm glad they delayed it. Uh, that killed me. And I blame Ben Affleck so hard. When they had to play Ben Affleck's fault. <laughs> no. He probably is horrible. I was not on his side. But anyway, um, I can't say that I'm glad they did it. But okay, it, it, I shouldn't have said that. But I mean, it's okay if you feel that way. <laughs> I just don't. But I, I do like that I'm in a more mature place in my life for a movie that seems to be more mature, yeah. you know, uh, and deeper than a lot of these other comic book movies. So I think that's kind of cool. But yeah, it was hard. It was tough. Rip, ripped my heart out. It, it was it was bad. But um, it, of course, glorifies this moment even more. Yeah. And it uh, makes me that much more hype. I think... There is that level of perseverance that I might feel when the movie starts. I think it's a culmination of all these feelings. Yeah. Like you're excited, but we did as fans kind of brave through, you know, all this time. And so I can't wait to see how that plays out. Uh, any game day rituals? What it was your what is your BBS day gonna look? Watching like? all the trailers, watching, probably reading a comic book or two. I don't know, man. Probably, yeah, just watching the trailers at least, just to get myself hyped. In the more I would this morning before work, I watched the Comic Con trailer. And I was like, holy crap, it's a week away. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I'd probably just doing that. What about you? Uh, yeah, I'm taking the day off. Uh, hope my boss isn't subscribed. To me. I'm taking the <laughs> day off uh, because I do have the six o'clock time. Yeah. And I don't have reserved seating, so I want to kind of beat the crowd. Um, and I'm going with my younger brother, so uh, I got to have time to go get him and everything and still get to the theater probably an hour before, you know, just so we get, you know, decent seats. But prior to that, I'll be watching Man of Steel. I'm going to make sure I watch it the day of. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. that's going to send me into a frenzy. I'll watch so, it the day before. So um, I don't know if I'll watch any of your trailers. I think I'm going to just go in with the last thing on my head being Man of Steel and then kind of just segue in, into whatever they give us. So that's my day. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so for our last bit of news, we are having a special episode coming up. In honor of the NFL draft, me and Sal will be doing our own superhero draft. And uh, that's going to take place. You'll get more information about that later. But to decide the number one pick, we want to do a little game uh, in which we're going to guess the box office for Batman v Superman opening weekend. Whoever gets the closest will be the number one pick winner. Sal's making me go first. If I'm going to miss, I'm going to miss high. Uh, I think with Good Friday uh, weekend, people will be off. I think kids want to see it, adults want to see it. It's PG-13, so they'll get more money. I'm going at 195 million for opening weekend. I'll go a little under you with uh, 170, 170 mil. Oh, okay. I almost thought you were gonna say 100 million for some reason, <laughs> but uh, so 195 million, 170 million. Whoever gets closest will be the number one pick. So that is the show for today. Uh, I want to remind you if you like what you heard, you want more of the canon, give us the ammo by clicking the subscribe button below. I want to thank my partner today, Sal. Sal, we're about to see Batman vs Superman, man. Dude, I cannot wait. We will see you guys on the other side. But if you want to follow us before that, <laughs> uh, go to Twitter at the Canon Blog, yeah, at the Canon Blog, or uh, Facebook, Facebook.com backslash the Canon. I'm your host Terry, and remember, if you heard it here today, it is Canon. Those are battering, bitch. Uh, never back down, which is probably one of the worst movies ever. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, stop the timeout. I love that movie. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not. Oh never God, back that down. Movie sucked. That movie was great. No, it would suck. Oh. Her name was Baja. What the hell? Yeah, her name Baja was Baja Miller. <laughs> she was a popular girl. 